Hey, what's going on guys? Eric here from Eric and Miles and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I edit my photos. So, um, yeah, uh, I got a quick collection here in um, Lightroom um, of just a bunch of photos from random different times, all different times of the winter, but most of these were taken in the winter time. So I'll start with this photo here, just because I like the subject more. So first thing I do when I am editing my photos is I do tone curve first. So I'm going to bring down the black point and the highlight point, and then I'm going to bring up the middle. Then I'm going to bring down the highlights just a tad, maybe 25, and bring up the shadows. Not that much, but quite a bit, about 45, 50. I'm going to bring down the whites and bring up the blacks up the contrast just a little bit, just so we can get more contrast, better for the eyes. And up set exposure. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the white balance, so I'm not gonna mess with that. Now we're gonna come down to um, hue, and it's a super blue image, so I'm gonna adjust the blues a little bit to make them a little more turquoise. I think that's what it's called, or teal. And we we'll bring down the saturation of them just a tiny bit, not much at all. I'm gonna bring down the saturation of greens and the hue of greens right here. Up the luminance of the greens. You can see that. So I'm gonna bring them up a lot. Up the luminance of the blues. Split toning, just average. Um, highlights warm, shadows cool. Sharpen, no, and recently, uh... So this image I took last weekend actually, and we're just gonna start off by leveling it and adjust putting chromatic aberration and enable. So that image was actually a bad one to start with because I didn't, that's not how I usually edit. This, I will edit this photo how I usually do my edits. So I'm gonna do a little S curve. Just a little bit, fade out the shadows just a tad. Then I'm going to bring down the clarity, 25, and down the texture. I'm going to bring up the contrast, 10. Shadows up, not that much, but you know, a fair amount, 75 maybe. Nah, 55. Bring up the blacks, up the exposure just a tad. Down the highlights a lot and the whites a lot. I don't usually do anything with the haze, I was just messing with it to see what it looked like. And the blues, I'm gonna bring down to make them a little different shade of blue. And then I'm gonna unsaturate it just a tiny bit. And we're gonna bring up the saturation of oranges and yellows for that nice sunset. We got the Rona. I think I got Rona virus. Now we're gonna bring down the luminance of both yellow and green, um, orange up the luminance of the blues, then the average highlight, shadow, split toning I do, and I'm gonna put on green. Yeah, that looks good to me. So I'm gonna copy this image, that those settings, and I'm gonna paste them on a different image that could probably use the same settings, you know, same colors. Yeah, that's about the right, except the blues, and the white balance just a tad, because the blues were all out of whack. And then I can bring down the saturation of the oranges because I just adjusted. So yeah, that's good for this one. I'm gonna... And then I'm gonna put that one on this one too. Just what I do is I just copy and edit for a day and then I'll put those settings on most of my images unless and then tweak it just from there. So hopefully that video, this video has help, helped a little bit. Um, I know it's not like the most, it didn't tell you like the most, but hopefully it showed you like what I do, you know, my hue, my color and stuff, how I get that stuff done. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Consider checking out some other content. Um, share it if you thought it was cool or helpful. See you guys in the next video. Peace.